folks, today we're going to demonstrate how to install this ballistic mask on the Ford Explorer. First what we'll do is we'll remove the original glass, the factory glass, then we will install this aluminum, this aluminum template that has exactly the same size and dimensions and weight as the armory glass. With this type of aluminum we can easily test how the mechanism is working and once the mechanism is working then we switch to the armored glass. To install the glass we have to remove the interior panel. To do this first we take this little screw that's holding this plastic inside the door handle. After removing this plastic we see that there's a bolt that's exposed. Now we have to unscrew it. This bolt is a 10 millimeter so now we're using a ratchet to take it off. In the bottom, we have two little screws that we have to take off as well. Now we've removed this part, which we pry off. Then we have to use this type of tool, pry it in here, and you lift the whole top end off. Be very careful not to scratch. Then using the long extension and the 10 millimeter, you remove that other screw. So once you remove the two 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolts and the two 7 millimeter bolts, you pry it around and then the panel comes off. After the panel is off, you have to remove this plastic that covers the door from getting full of dust. We also have to remove the speaker to have access to the original window. Remember to use a 70 millimeter socket. You have to remove this trim. And afterwards, we're gonna cut this trim because we're not gonna use this slip. We're only gonna use this channel. To remove the window, we have to put it in a lower position so we have access to the two 7 millimeter screws that are holding it on. So once those two nuts are off and you push a little plastic off, just slide the original window out. Now we're gonna, we'll have to work on this sides to fit the thicker window. The inside of the door has two channels, one in the front and one in the back. Both of them have to be widened in the same way. So he's putting in the, the 3 eighths of an inch extension and by hand he's pushing it down to make sure that the thicker glass will slide up and down the rail. Now we have to remove the trim off the door. To do so there's a little torque screw that has to be taken off. You might need an extension in this part because your hand doesn't fit.
Okay, and that's it. Within two minutes, using a 3 8 of an inch extension, he has widened the channel to fit the thicker glass. Two little cuts have to be made on the side of the door. One in the back of the door, and the other one in the front of the door. We'll do this with a cutting disc. Now the door is wide enough to fit the thicker ballistic glass. In this case, it's going to be a 16.5 millimeter in the space that used to be used by 5 millimeter glass. Now we're going to do the same thing, but with the rubber gasket on. Now you put back the rubber back gasket. No need to cut it or to trim it. Now we're repeating the same process with the aluminum template. And it's just sliding right up. So as you can see, even though this template is a lot thicker than the original glass, it slides up and down without any problems. Okay, once this process has been done, you can start assembling the door again. So we put the, the trim back on, and we're gonna put on the, the little screw that was holding it on.
see. Your ballistic glass is already inserted inside the door. Now we have to slide it up and put the screws into the railings. Once the holes are aligned, you put the screws in. One in the back and one in the front. Now you have it, level 3A glass that rolls up and down with the original motor on your Ford Interceptor police vehicle. Level 3A, high speed 9mm and revolvers such as 357 and 44 Magnum with hollow points. As you can notice in the bottom, we got about an 8 inch overlap. This extended steel will overlap with your Kevlar that's inside the door panel. So you'll get full, full side protection.